Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays a Flight and Review and today I'm taking out the Curtis P40 Tomahawk. Now this is another freeware, not the big radials thing. I do have that one, uh, payware. This is a freeware. Uh, it's fairly well detailed. Uh, now this is uh, for by the same person who's been doing a lot of the other World War II aircraft. So the... Um, British Hawker Hurricane, the German BF-109, uh, and now they've gone and done the P-40, according to their uh, thing here. So they've got a bit of information. I'm actually reviewing uh, Update 101, uh, so it has already been updated since uh, going on there. Uh, there is only one livery, which I think from memory this is Greek uh, stars. I'm not sure. Someone can correct me on that. Um, but there is also now, this has been out for probably, I don't know, a few days. Let's have a look. Uh, first release February 3rd, uh, updated February 5th, and I'm recording this particular one on February 7th. There are already uh, m new fan made uh, or other people made uh, liveries for them, which is pretty cool. So there's a nice bright white uh, one with the uh, American. Uh, World War, early World War II symbols. Let's go and have a look inside. Now inside uh, looks actually fairly clean, like uh, not a lot of wear and tear on on the structure of the plane, but some of these other panels have been placed in. Uh, I must admit that looks very clean. Uh, dials are not necessarily uh, weathered, but we'll give it a try anyway. Okay, I'm moving my flight stick and I can't see it moving there in front of me. What's going on there? Huh. can definitely hear these guys moving. Yeah. Okay, my feet are working. But only one direction. Hmm. Not sure whether the animation has been mucked up. Something to do with loading in or... What the deal is but um look we'll give this a a go a touch press everything that we can uh let's work out what we can press nothing here this will be our landing gear yep fuel selector oh, i'll take both thank you this is nothing this looks like our park brake but i can't press it uh, we do have our magnetos, which you've actually got to press right in the middle. So you don't want the end of it. You want the middle. I'll put those on. Our barometric pressure, so altitude calibration knob. Uh, now I know there's a starter switch. Now what I haven't been able to work out yet is where the battery switch is. Uh, what we might do is just move ourselves forward on the seat and make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, so the taxi lights, panel lights, strobe, navigation lights, pito heat. Uh, we've got throttle. We've only got throttle. You no know, engine choke. And Wait, why is there two lots of throttle? So the choke, is that not the mixture? All right. Uh, that did throttle. Where's that engine choke? There we go. Okay, it's either on or off. I can't put that in. Uh, the middle there for auto. Okay, so throttle, yes. Mixture, I don't see anything moving. I heard the park brake. Okay, yep, yeah, but I don't see anything. Um, I can't work out where the battery is. Now when I press start a switch, nothing happens because... Like I said, I haven't worked out where the battery is, if there's a switch somewhere. So, just do a full auto start, and it gets going. When I say full auto start, I'm using control um, uh, buttons, but it's essentially a control E, so you may need to do the same yourself. This is the default view. Let's go through the views. So we can, okay, the next one goes up higher. Zoom into the gauges. Look down to the left, look to the right, and back to the gauges. Yeah, that's it. So up. There's also another higher one that you can do. 
Uh, we looked left and my head is going higher. Yeah. So when we look out the wings, our head goes high. A lot of a lot of views seem to do that. And if I go further forward, yeah, okay, so these are our different views. Park brake back off. Okay, I can't see that rear wheel m turning or moving, which is a bit of a shame. Not animated, not connected to the uh, rudder. Now I've noticed that this, uh, the balance is, you've got to take this really slow, the balance is quite um, easy to tip. Uh, so I'd say, oh look, it might be the real thing. With all that engine all the way up the top there, it doesn't seem to be a very wide uh, space there. Let's try the brakes. Okay, yep, that was... Uh, foot brake so while we're here we may as well turn all of these things on and I can see myself moving okay you can see a tail light uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure where they've got those lights somewhere on the back of the plane and on the tail yeah not so sure about that nav lights yes happy with that uh, I'm guessing there's meant to be a light coming out from underneath. So, what have we got? Panel lights, landing lights, taxi lights. Do we need landing lights on while we're taxiing? Uh, strobes, I'm going to turn that strobe off. We don't need a flashing light. Now, oh, what else I didn't show is we grab the handle and we can open the canopy. I have not heard it get any louder though with the canopy open or closed we also have it oh I told you it's very uh, easy to tip over very high center of gravity we have a default pilot uh, comes up as the female I've just got them set now as default because I noticed other planes like the F-22 without default just put in whatever pilot you have selected. Now, flaps. One, two. I can't imagine any further than that because that's almost down. Very nice. Does have a noise. I'm going to take off with the uh, window open. I might actually take off from this view. See if we get some torque steer. Yeah, a little bit, but I can just put in a little bit of rudder and then full power and back on the stick. Very nice. Okay, gear up. Do like that animation. We've still got that uh, taxi light on, don't we? One of these ones, panel taxi, thank you. Very nice. All right, we'll give this a bit of a uh, throw around the sky and turn around and try and land the thing. So that's full tilt as fast as I can go. Uh, what's our speed? Are we at 100 knots or are we actually over? I'm Not sure if I went all the way around there or not. Quite well modelled. And now this is freeware, you got to remember. Oh, helps to actually watch where we're going. And a bit of a climb, full speed or full throttle. And full back. Uh, look, it's very capable. Uh, should be able to have a lot of fun with this, especially if people want to do uh, mock dog fights and the likes. Makes a bit of racket when you're uh, moving around. Let's see if we can close the window handle. Thank you. Now I didn't hear it change the volume there. 
bit of a shame. Some some of the professional ones do. Obviously, if you're using pay where you you're getting that uh, professional stuff. Okay, it does have prop pitch. I didn't see anything move, but I did just use my prop pitch to uh, turn that down a little. All right, let's see if we can land back on this runway. From how fast we're we going? Yeah, we're just bringing that needle all the way back down. We are not going to be able to stop here, so it's because we're losing so much altitude as well. All right, back in your seat there. Uh, look, very capable, uh, good aircraft. Uh, I think this will go well with a lot of the World War II uh, aircraft that have been coming out. Now I put my prop pitch down. Can we look at where the airport is? Thank you. We'll run some flaps and gears. I have to do a tight left here, the last part. Give those full flaps, almost like air brakes, uh, a good test. Oh, I knew we were going to bounce there. I was just easing that off. Okay, we're going to come in at the wrong angle here. But, you know what? It's pretty good. Okay, some brakes without uh, nose diving would be nice. Thank you. We are down. I like how uh, one flap comes up before the other. So, besides the uh, tail wheel not moving, which you're not going to see if you're doing this type of view, and taxing, although if you're doing this type of view, you really are going to want to sit up higher. Great aircraft, uh, another great successful um, addition for Microsoft Flight Sim and free. Link will be in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Uh, I'm trying to do these uh, review, flight and review for freeware and or slash payware each week. So this particular one is by FS Ad Adney or F Sadney. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but um, go check them out. Give them a like, follow, whatever. Buy them a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching. Cheers.